I'm so excited about the reset challenge. And based on what you just told me, it is just so inspiring, especially like a way to connect the community. Um, but if you just want to start off by giving us a background on what the reset challenge is and, um, you know, what it's going to do for the community. Perfect. So Izzy, thanks for having me today. I'm so excited about the reset challenge and really the piece that the YMCA gets to play in the reset challenge. So if we really think about it, this is a time to really reset the year, right? And everybody comes to the table with, okay, what are New Year's resolutions? Well, this is about so much more than a New Year's resolution and about so much more than, okay, I want to be fit. I want to eat better. So I think in true YMCA fashion, I think this is one of those programs that's really designed to inspire you in mind, body, and spirit, which is so YMCA-esque. And it's really about inspiring not just YMCA members, but really inspiring and engaging the community. So this is really a free national challenge that many YMCA's throughout the country are participating in, but it's a great way for us to embrace our community and allow them to take part in a challenge that really in all essence is virtual. So we get this way to embrace, enhance, and deliver to the community things that can really transform their life. So when we say mind, body, and spirit, the challenge is really not just about becoming more physically fit or engaging in better eating habits, it's really truly about um, the whole self, right? So I think this gives us a great opportunity to you know, encourage the community to be part of this challenge and encourage the community to um, transform their life. That's awesome. No, I really love that. And, you know, what a way we need inclusivity right now. So that's definitely an awesome motivation. Um, so when you talk about mind, body, and spirit, what are some of the features that this challenge will have? Um, not only focusing on exercise, but what are other things that people will be able to get involved with? So I, I love that question because this is set up as a virtual challenge. So when you sign up, you will get three emails from us each week. So let's say you're getting an email from us on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. So on a Monday, you're going to get, you know, really information about the theme of the week. Each of the six weeks has a theme. The first week, of course, is called reset. So you'll get some information about the theme of the week. Then you'll have also access to tons of different live classes. You'll have um, access to virtual classes. We will certainly touch base with nutrition, but we're also probably going to be touching base with meditation, ways to get rid of some of this frustration that we deal with and, get, and really giving and providing tools to work through those things. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you'll get emails from us. There'll be a theme, there'll be videos. Um, honestly, on Wednesdays, we'll be more like accountability. And what are things that we can do to help be, people become accountable, right, for the challenge or for their own goals? And then in, again, true YMCA fashion, we always celebrate our successes. So on Fridays, we really talk about celebration and how you celebrate your success and how you really can celebrate your own life and transform your own life. That's awesome. I'm so, I'm so excited. I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> So um, you kind of talked about um, how you want to include the community. Um, and previously, we we're talking about this. Um, but what was your inspiration to really get the why in Watertown involved in this challenge? I, I love that. And that really came from this our CEO. So back in the fall, uh, really briefly, we had word of really some other things that were going on nationally. And there was a strong challenge. So we did a really small internal challenge, welcoming our members back. And we kind of did a, you know, get fit, get strong challenge, welcoming our members back. Uh, late fall, we were notified that this whole national thing was really moving in kind of a different direction. So what you'll see from us from a community standpoint is there will be actually three challenges like this throughout the year. So this is just really the icebreaker. This is the first one. But our CEO, Denise Young, had come across some information 
Um, and it really just kind of spiraled. Michelle, I want you to attend this Zoom meeting. I want you to learn more about Reset. So that's really what transpired is it was, okay, she saw this, I attended, and then I took the ball and I ran with it because I really recognized early on that, hey, we get to play another role, not just from you know delivering essential services way back in early pandemic, but we get to play an essential role in really helping our community pick up the pieces. And then we get to transform lives. I think we have that privilege every single day of helping people. So I think this is just another way for us to deliver on our promise, right? Of, of showing up where the community needs us the most. And I think this is a really great example of, again, not only just showing up for our members, but showing up for the community and embracing the community, encouraging the community, and really helping them in the process. So again, it's not really just about us. It's this small little thing that has taken on really legs of its own. And you know, we have buy-in, not just myself and our team and our CEO, but we have buy-in from you know, really the whole movement, our organization. And I love that this too will give people an opportunity. You know, if you have family in Florida, they could sign up for the reset in Florida. You can sign up for the national reset. You know, we have our local movement going on here, but how cool that this is national and you'll be able to connect with people nationwide. And I think that's what's really, really exciting is it's about so much more than just, hey, you know, we're here, but it's local, it's community minded, it's regional, but it's also national. So I think that gives us this really cool opportunity to connect and do things really with the movement across the country. Yeah, and also like that is just such a nice way to connect with people. Like why not connect with people that maybe you can't connect with now because of COVID in a way that's gonna help better each other, yourself and others. That's, I love that for sure. Um, so what are your hopes for this challenge? So I, I like to set lofty goals. So, you know, my personal goal, I think from an organizational standpoint, I think we're gonna blow this away, but I would love to see 500 community members participate. Members, non-members, businesses. So I think I encourage businesses to get and you know let people know that this is available to them. You know, So I think this is a great segue to kind of get the word out, whether it's through social media, whether it's through our conversations that we get to have sort of internally that will grow externally. But I would love to see at least 500 participants. And we have really some cool giveaways. You know, those weekly challenges, we have sponsors. Snow Ridge has stepped up to be a sponsor so far. Good Healthy, which is really a subsidiary of Agbotics. Um, we also have the zoo has become a major sponsor right now. Uh, we have presenting, our, one of our presenting sponsors is Victory Promotions. Um, local sponsors, major sponsors who also bought in, Quick Med, Watertown Dental Health Group. Kim and William Couch. So, you know, we have all this great backing from community members who have buy-in. Now it's really spreading the word to get the, you know, to spread it like wildfire so that we can get those participants because guess what? Not only will there be, you know, that you get to participate in this, but you also be, once you sign up and you're an active participant, you're going to be able to be part of so many giveaways that we're going to do each week. So it's one little thing that's kind of grown into this big, huge thing with these incredible sponsors who stepped up right away without question that said, I want to be part of this. And I think that's really exciting. I know people at ABC 50 are very excited um, to be part of this. I know I kind of strong held staff to get you guys excited about it. And I'm really grateful that you guys have buy-in and we're hoping that other businesses get buy-in as well. That's awesome. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, so tell me how people can get involved. How can we sign up? So a couple of different things. You can sign up from our website. You click on watertownymca.org and you can hit the reset button. You'll scroll down just a little bit. You'll see a little panel and then you'll see reset. You can click there. Um, if anyone's having any trouble whatsoever signing up that way, you can call any of our YMCAs. Um, they will happily navigate you through the process or get you signed up. Either way, um, it's, it's going to be fun, and I think it's going to be exciting. And 
Our sponsors believe in us. I think we're going to do amazing things together. And I think it's a really great opportunity to be able to transform people's lives for the better and really now more than ever before, bring people together. And I think if that's the thing I'm excited about the most is it's really bringing people together, whether you're a member or you're not a member, but it's bringing our community together. And, and I think we need that. So, and then finally, when does it start? And it when does February? It Yes, it starts February 1st. But even if you miss that February 1st marker, you can you can still register thereafter. Um, I'd love to be able to get that information out, you know, to people prior to February 1st, but even after is fine. So we have some time. We have a couple of weeks to get this rolling. I think it will be um, fun. I think it will be exciting. And I, I, I'm really excited about it. I know that our staff is excited, our CEO, our exec team, all the way right down and we're here to help you get signed up talk about it spread the word so we are so grateful that you were part of this whole process of helping us get the word out to not just our members but certainly the community that's a big deal so thank you of course well we're so excited we're so excited to join thank you so much um we're it's going to be great i think it's going to be awesome so something brand new for the north country for sure. Thank you, Izzy.